What's up you guys, Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review and today we are going to be taking a look at uh, Bandai Creations Final Rodan. Now uh, I don't pick up many Bandai Creations, I am pretty much straight up a uh, Bandai Japan guy, but when I saw this guy at a local shop in Phoenix and for the price uh, I just couldn't resist. You know the Final Wars Rodan, you know, despite you know what issues I may have with the film, uh, you know, the Final Ro Wars Rodan has a nice design, uh, you know, looks really nice and sleek. I really like the, uh, the armor plating on the front of his legs and his chest and whatnot. Looks really, really good. So, uh, you know, just a little thing stand out to me about this guy. Um, you know, I guess I could have eventually maybe picked up a normal Bandai Japan, uh, you know, figure of him, but, you know... This guy, for the price point and everything, he wasn't too bad, and he's not really bad looking. So let's just get a real close look and uh, take a review of this guy. First off with paint apps. Very nice, uh, very nice, kind of like a fire Rodan red. You know, I kind of like uh, how they went with uh, that color tone for him for this figure. He was kind of that color in the film, but it, it varied between the night and day scenes and whatnot. But uh, very nice, you know, a very nice fire, kind of deep red uh, for his beak and some kind of other areas around his wings. You know, you got some black shading, you know, down his back. You got some black shading uh, for his chest area. You know, you got a nice uh, tannish color. Same for the claws on his feet and the claws on his hands. His eyes actually really stand out. His eyes are a really nice green. They look very good. And uh, overall, that's about it for this, uh, the paint job on this guy. You know, very simple, but it definitely does have its uh, shine in certain areas. Again, it's a great looking figure. Uh, next on, we'll go on to detail. Detail, you know, for, uh, you know, Bandai America, it's fairly well done. Uh, you know, you even got some muscle tone in his arms. Very nice. Uh, the beak and, you know, the nose is etched in there very nicely. All the lines and whatnot around the eyes, very nicely done. Forehead is very nicely pronounced. Uh, his, um, whatever you would call him, the horns on the back of his head, very nicely and a little nice, like, little edge curve there at the end. Uh, all the uh, kind of rolls going down the back of his neck, very nicely etched into the sculpt. Same with the front. Uh, the thing that really shines about me is, of course, his chest, the front of his legs, and kind of, you know, on his shins and his feet down here. Just all that armor plating is beautifully, beautifully well sculpted. It's very well done. Uh, you know, the membrane for his wings, very nice wave and rough texture here on the inside. And then, of course, on the outside, it's all, you know, smooth. So, very, very nicely well done. Again, for a Bandai, uh, for a Bandai Creations, which is Bandai America, this isn't really a bad figure. Uh, let's see. What else? Did, it's pretty much about it for uh, detail on this guy. Just really, really well done. Um, it definitely shines in some areas more than others. But, yeah, very nice detail. Next on to articulation, which uh, is where he lacks, of course, even for a Bandai figure. But there's only so much you can do with a, a Bandai Rodan, whether it's Japan or America. So he does have a very tight, you know, head swivel. You know, you can turn it left and right. Uh, you probably could get it to go all the way around, but like I said, mine is really uh, tight. I really don't feel like uh, forcing it. Uh, nothing in the wings. The wings do have a nice little natural bend to them if you wanted to, but again, you might crack and crease the vinyl over time, so I wouldn't recommend that. And then, of course, his legs have a nice little kind of like sh at the shin. has a very nice shin swivel, so you can kind of only, you know, tilt, you know, Swivel his legs outward or straight forward or kind of like, you know, not really pointed in at each other. But only so much you can get with the legs. And that's one thing that this figure does lack is uh, every now and then he will fall over because he really doesn't have any really form of uh, balance or stance. So just in case, I have this one propped up to a few of my other uh, Bandai figures just so that he does stand and he just doesn't go toppling over in the middle of the night or whenever but uh, overall uh, just very nice figure again very nice love the claws on his feet very nicely done love really love the eyes I want to say the things I really love about this figure are the green eyes with the black pupils very nicely done armor plating and then of course the claws on the feet and everything just really really well done
looks very uh, ferocious and flashy at the same time. Uh, last up for size comparison here, I will size him up with the only other Bandai creation uh, Godzilla figure I have, which is another Final Wars, and that is the Final Wars Godzilla himself. Uh, size and comparison, it, you know, it's probably, you know, Rodan might be a tad bit smaller, I'm not really sure, I'd have to watch the movie again, but uh, for the most part, uh, they look well next to each other. So, and it's kind of funny that both my Bandai America figures are both from Final Wars. That's interesting. I don't think I have a, a legitimate uh, Bandai Japan Final Wars figure, but that's okay. I don't mind. But uh, yeah, look really well next to each other. And just to size him up to a Bandai Japan Godzilla figure that everybody should have, or at least a version of. This is the 50th anniversary Memorial Box version. But here is the Bandai Godzilla 90s. I'm just going to say 90s. Because this kind of represents everything from 89 to about 94. So, But there's uh, sizing up with that. So he will scale in well with anything in the 6 inch range. So there you go. That's Bandai at least. You know, if you go in SH Monster Arts and a few of those others, it might, you know, proportions and whatnot will probably be a little bit out of whack. But for the most part, he'll scale in well with any other Bandais, whether they're Japan or America. So anyway, you guys, that's it for my little quick review on this guy. Really uh, simple. But um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this review on the Bandai Creations Final Wars Rodan. We are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Like always, please comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.